How's it going guys, JCVP11 here from Dubai and welcome back to another video. So if you guys remember, I did make a video covering Android M on my Nexus 9 which was the first developer preview version which you can check out up top or in the link down below. So you may have noticed I faced quite a bit of issues such as the notification shade not working, the home button on the tablet not working and the lock screen not being present. But it turns out the issue was because I flashed the ROM a little bit incorrectly. Upon flashing the ROM again, I did see all of these features come back and all of these bugs were fixed. So there was nothing wrong with the first development preview and I'd just like to make that clear before we start this video. I didn't go ahead and download the second developer preview because I wanted to see quite a drastic jump from the first to the third developer preview. So here I am with the third developer preview on my Nexus 9 and we're gonna take a look at what is different. So let's find out. Every update begins with a cool boot animation and this time around it's no different. The older boot animation is now gone in favor of a newer one and I personally think this looks much cleaner and sleeker just like the rest of the OS. Sliding from the left corner of the lock screen which exists this time reveals Google Now which is something that iOS had already and Android borrowed. Moving on to the About tab, you see that this is Android version 6.0, which is of course Marshmallow. But I tried to open up an easter egg and unfortunately it didn't work, which was pretty sad to be honest. Next up, I went to Developer Options and saw if there was an option to enable multi-window feature, but that again didn't exist which was quite surprising, but it may not be ready for a developer version just yet. I also checked if there was a fingerprint option, such as the fingerprint scanner option, but considering the tablet doesn't have a scanner, it wasn't present. Now overall, I was very very satisfied with my experience on the tablet, especially the fact that apps opened blazing fast, especially the YouTube app, which is known to have lag when opened. Another feature that I forgot to mention is the fact that copy and pasting now doesn't happen on the top edge of the screen but happens right on top of what you're editing which is another feature that Android borrowed from iOS. Anyways that is all for this video. There have been new implementations but I couldn't find the multi-window feature just yet on this ROM so it might be something to look out for in the consumer version when it comes out sometime in November. But apart from that, I've had no complaints with this ROM, no force closes, and everything seems to work perfectly. And I hope it stays that way. As always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below, and leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll have new videos coming out on a frequent basis, so make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.